How are you doing? This is Martin from Guidance for Life. In this video, I'm going to show you a vegetable called yakon. Um, it grows quite abundantly and it's easy to grow. All right, are you ready? I'm going to try to lift it up now. Because you'd be doing well eating all them. We like to eat the yakons. Um, this is the part you would eat. And the crown up here, you would split that um, when it's time for planting and propagation. So um, you can see there's a growing tip right here. And that'll grow when you cut that out and it'll grow into a plant same size as that, which is what we did last year. So you could just uh, wash this part and cut it up and eat it, or just eat it as it is, kind of like a carrot or maybe like an apple. They go really well in a salad, by the way. Curing it will definitely help and it'll actually make it a bit sweeter. So curing it just means to leave it exposed to a bit of light, maybe on a table, on a windowsill or a table in the greenhouse, for example. Uh, for a few days even, maybe a week, and that'll make them a little bit sweeter and that'll break down some of the inulin in them as well. But they're really good for the digestive tract as well, for the digestive flora, but they don't have quite as much inulin in them as the uh, Jerusalem artichokes. Well, for all of December, we haven't been making any videos, mostly because um, we were just so busy shipping out all of your orders. Thank you so much for, to all of you that have actually bought something from our website and uh, placed an order with us. Uh, we really appreciate your support. Every order actually helps us to um, expand our gardens and get more variety uh, for next year. Yakon starts or growing tips are available from the start of March on our website. We want to actually store the crowns um, over winter before we cut them up. They just end up in better condition when it's time to start growing them. You can also sign up for an email reminder when the yakons become available. We have a number of other yakon plants. Not very many though this year. We lost quite a few of them to the frost last year, but you can see there's still a few here. We're gonna dig all those up now, well, most of them, and store them in the shed. So the first job to dig up the yakons is to actually cut off the stalks with the secretaires. I'll just show you that now. So we wanna cut them right down to the ground. And then we'll dig up the crown afterwards. These are actually the red yakons. Yeah. Personally, I prefer the white ones, but they're all they're all good. Ooh, be careful! There's some actual um, gooseberry bushes here that I just planted as a rooted cuttings. Of course, the yakons grew much taller and smothered them, or not what we call it, smothered, took all the sunlight. All right, so that you can, so you have the crown exposed now. There we go. Now we can get started. Are you ready? All right, so I reckon the best way to approach it is to just kind of dig around the plant. See, you will find that it's quite, it does have quite a reach. Now, oh, are you ready? Oh. Oh. Oh, 
All right, are you ready? I'm going to try to lift it up now. Yeah. It's probably going to be fairly hard to lift without breaking the tubers, but that's the idea. You're trying to expose as much of it as possible. Don't break it. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's Jeez, I, a loaf yacon. Jeez, I've never had as big a yacon plant as that. This was grown outdoors, by the way. This is a big yacon. Not in a greenhouse. Greenhouse. Look at that. Wow. Those are some substantial tubers. Really big. And there's a few more in the ground. That is really big. Yeah. I'm really good for eating. <laughs> Yakon is fairly storable. Uh, we were keeping the edible part, the tubers themselves, actually for almost a year in our shed and uh, still some of them were fine. Well, very happy with the harvest so far. Um, check out the white, the white yacons. Pretty decent harvest so far. And we're gonna dig up this one next. So I'm gonna take you off the time lapse for that. Oh. It's amazing how how big these plants can grow in one growing season. Oh, geez, I think I'm breaking a lot of tubers underground. Trying to kind of lift the weight off them a little bit. They are very brittle and um, they can break very easily, even in an odic garden when the soil is very malleable. But um, let's try it now. Whoa, that is the biggest, the biggest ever yakon plant we've harvested anyway here at our place. Look at this one. Oh my God, that's absolutely enormous. And there's more of it in the ground, of course. Must weigh some of these. This is all part of the same plant. There's one bit stuck in the ground here. I'll just leave it for the soil life. That's okay, just leave it there. Jeez, that must be, must be at least five, five kilos or maybe even more. Maybe even up to 10 kilos in the one plant. You can see the crown itself up here. I'm going to have to uh, clean this off, rinse it off, to try and get all the soil off and then store it in dry potting mix. Don't forget about adding the stalks to an insect pile because they're perfect for insects to overwinter. You can see they're hollow. So it turns out there's no point in using a shovel uh, because you'd only break the tubers underneath. You're better off to actually excavate the whole uh, plant in one go and uh, just lift it with your hands. You'll always break one or two uh, underneath, but uh, you can always try to pull those up afterwards. But you'd have to eat them immediately because they won't store once they're broken. So these yakons in our greenhouse are now actually two seasons old, or two years. Some uh, red and some white. And we just have maybe about six or seven plants in here. And they usually take up all of this space here. And um, I'm honestly contemplating on uh, just digging these up this winter and just planting them outside instead. In other words, don't bother growing yakon indoors. I think it's just as well off outside. But always be aware of the slugs because when the plants are small, the slugs might eat the, the few leaves that it has. So do grow the yakon plants uh, on from the growing tip to a fairly substantial plant before you um, 
planted out into the garden. Look at that, the salt bush is actually still uh, active in the greenhouse. Um, this is the 3rd of January now. Pretty amazing, we can use that for cuttings and then root those and get some more plants out of it. Really good vegetable actually. Kind of uh, does taste like salt, all right, and spinach. I'm going to go ahead and actually keep some of the yacons in the ground, but I'm going to mulch them a little bit with some wood chips just because there is a frost coming in the few in a few days' time. They have actually survived the frost about a month ago, down to minus four, uh, just fine. But it might damage the crown on the top, so I don't really want to. Um, uh, expose them to that, especially when there is uh, south-facing sunlight or when there's south-facing exposure. Especially the morning sun will actually melt the uh, plants and the leaves. Actually, that's how that's what happens um, when it's frozen. So that's what damages them ultimately, because it bursts the cell walls when they're thawed too quickly. So here's a growing tip now. Um, so normally, the first thing to do is actually to take all of these could use a secretaire as well. I don't know where it is. It's over there. You can use a knife or a secretaire to take all these tubers off. Now you could keep them intact, and then they'll grow into a bigger plant next year. But you can also eat them. All right. So that's left us with the crown now. So what we would normally do is we'd store that until March, and then we will. Um, um, just cut it up and actually grow it on. So you kind of need to clean it very well with water and then you can really see the growing tips but I'll just cut one off here for you just to give you a demonstration of how to do it although I'm using one hand here. Give me a second now. All right. Look, um, there is a growing tip here so we're trying to get as much of it as possible. Sometimes it's easier to break it off, but if it doesn't break, just try to kind of cut it here. Okay, so this is a, this will be a growing tip. That'll grow into a new plant. You could possibly cut that up more, but I'd rather not, in case it might actually cause it to go rotten, if you expose too much of the white flesh to the elements. So once you have the growing tip then you can plant this into a say a two litre pot or, or a one litre pot but I prefer two litre um, just because you're trying to keep them indoors as long as possible uh, before planting them out so that they become a bit more substantial so that the slugs don't eat them. Oh, Here's a worm, need to put them away, back into the garden. Thanks a million for watching the video. Um, take a look at our other videos. We have lots of different uh, tuber harvest videos and so on, and some no dig gardening videos as well. We are going to be working on our course, um, that is like a mini course that we're going to put up on our website about uh, no dig gardening. So um, stay tuned and we'll let you know when it's available. Thanks a million for watching again. See you later, bye bye.